Hi China, my name is Greg and I posted in the Assisted Living Facebook group that I would uh, do a quick video for anyone who wanted to understand what they might need to do to get more uh, to get more business by getting more traffic to their website. Uh, so you reached out to me and I appreciate it. Um, here's your website um, and I'm going to do a quick deep dive uh, looking at your website and give you some suggestions as to what you might uh, think about doing. By way of overview, uh, the work I do is all about getting to the top of Google. If you're at the top of Google, you get yourself the best possible chance of being found by your potential customers. Um, I will talk about three different areas. Um, number one, content. This is the words and images, the quality and quantity written into your website. Uh, backlinks. So Google is also a popularity contest. And the more, uh, the more times your site is linked to from other sites, um, the more it drives trust for your site, which allows Google to rank you up. And the third thing I want to mention is citations. A citation is, an, is the number of times your, uh, your business name, address, and phone number are mentioned in a directory, both local and uh, national. Uh, a directory, for example, yelp.com, yellow pages, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So without further ado then, China, let's look at content. So uh, here is your website. Um, it's very personal. Uh, which I like. Uh, I can see that you're the owner of this business and I love the fact that you are um, so passionate, obviously, about what you do. Um, from, a, from a content point of view, Google looks at quality and quantity. So quantity-wise, they want to see a good volume of words. They assume that if you've written a lot about your services, that you are an authority in what you do and uh, that you're more likely to be able, that your site is more likely to be able to answer questions that uh, Google's customers, people using Google search, uh, are looking for when searching for uh, home care, for example, in Taylor. But then there's also a quality aspect. Quality refers to the number of times a certain keyword or keywords are mentioned in your content. A keyword is a phrase, for example, that one of your potential customers might use in Google to find uh, services that you offer. Here's an example. So I typed in home age care, Taylor, Michigan. All right. So um, this is just an example, one that I thought of uh, off the top of my head, but it could be any, um, any iteration of this. It could be um, senior care. Uh, it could be home care for seniors, Taylor. Um, so we want to find out what all those different words are uh, and phrases are that someone could use to find you and make sure that those phrases are written into your, uh, into your page. Okay. Did I mention quality, uh, quantity? Um, uh, they want to see at least 1,500 words um, on your page and at least 500 words for every service page that you have. I think I did talk about that. Um, it's been a long day. So, um, okay, we talked about keywords. Let's go ahead and take a look at your site. Um, so this is a tool that I have access to, uh, China, and um, it allows me to understand what's going on in the back end of, of, uh, of websites. So here's your website. We're taking a look. Um, now, now, Google is not indexing any keywords for your site, okay, which is resulting in a zero organic traffic, which means that um, uh, uh, no one, um, when typing in any of those potential keywords that I mentioned before uh, is actually finding your site. Um, and we would want to change that. This is the way that we would do it. So I'm going to look at another another website, an example of another website. So I pulled out from my search the, Taylor, uh, the lodge uh, at Taylor. Now, I know that um, this is probably a slightly different service than what you offer. Maybe this is residential assistance and you offer home assistance, but We'd want to target the same keywords because it gives those potential customers an option for home care rather than residential care. Let's take a look at what they're doing. So here we can see that they um, they do have about 200 keywords in their site, and they are currently attracting almost 60 uh, uh, potential customers visiting their site every month. Now, these visits and inquiries turn into customers, and this is what it's all about. Let's take a look at the keywords that they are using. And these are the keywords, the kinds of keywords that you would want to target and write into your, your content too. They are, we want to see what, what I call location-based 
buyer intent keywords. Location-based meaning that you mention the place. Your customers are going to be in Taylor. And, and so therefore, when they are searching for your services, they're going to write Taylor, Michigan, into the search phrase because they want a local provider. So, for example, you want to, you want to be looking for search terms like this, nursing homes in Taylor. Uh, um, let's look for another one. Okay, nursing homes, Taylor, that's the same one. Nursing homes in Taylor, Michigan. Okay, um, uh, uh, these are all variations on a theme, but it's talking about the service and the location. And we want to write these into your content uh, so that Google can pick them up and show them to your potential customers. Okay, all right, so that's content and it's really important. Um, the second thing that I mentioned to you uh, was backlinks. So this is Google's popularity contest. Um, the number of other sites that link to your site. So, no, I don't see that you are linked at all to any other sites, okay? So essentially, at this point in time, your website is a, an island in itself, not linked to any other site in the web. Now, the, the internet is a web, and you want to be linked to other sites. The uh, Let's take a look at um, uh, the Logit Taylor. So they have almost 50 backlinks from 24 other domains. The strategy here that, that you would want to do, and it's a little bit of work, is that you find out who these domains are. I'm going to click on here and we'll, we'll get a bit of an idea. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So here's a relevant one, nursinghomelawcenter.org. So you'd reach out to nursinghomelawcenter.org and say, hey, I've got a nursing service in Taylor, Michigan. Please, can you put my website linked from your website? And if they do that, then you get uh, a backlink. You do not want... Um, uh, w this number here is a is a strength score zero. Well, this is out of a hundred. So you, I, I would recommend they would take this one off and look and take this one off. This blog spot, this is probably a spammy link and it's hurting their business. So really, it's it's very important when. Oh, here's another one, tree lawn maintenance. This is not relevant to the business. So there is a very clear strategy here in backlinks. Find the right backlinks for your business. Reach out to those sites. Have them linked to you. And it drives your site strength way up and gets you that traffic. So that's backlinks. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention to you, uh, China, uh, are citations. So simply the mention of your name, your address, and your phone number uh, on the internet, on directories. It's a simple strategy here is you find out where your competitors uh, are, are, are listed directory-wise. Um, there are tools that you can use. There are free tools that you can use online. Um, and you and you essentially just copy all those directory listings, all of them. You reach out to every directory and you list your site and you list your site and you list your site. But you want to do it to such a great extent that you have at least 100 more than any of your competitors. And this is going to do great things for listing your business in Google. Now, you can see that um, in the example I gave you, there is some traffic to be had um, for, for aged care. Uh, in Taylor, Michigan. And I guess the question that um, that I would pose to you is, uh, what are your goals? What are you looking to achieve? How how much are you looking to grow? Could you take on more business? And if you could, how much? Um, because if your goals are to grow uh, significantly, or even just a bit, um, to take on staff, maybe get a facility. You know, this is very, very doable. And you, the first thing you'd need to do is take care of, of this website strategy, this, this ranking strategy that I've mentioned to you. So uh, without further ado, China, I'm going to end this video now. Uh, I, hope it, I hope that it's been useful for you. This is the work that I do. I have an agency that does this work. Um, and I am more than happy to speak more with you. Uh, I love helping out. Um, and uh, so, so I'm going to email this to you. And please reach out to me with any feedback or any additional questions that you might have. And, uh, and as always, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, China, for watching my video. Bye.